My name is Tasmin and this is my mathematics game for TP2100. Student number 21201299. The grade that we are focusing on is grade 1 and we are doing this in term 1 and the topic is subtraction and addition. The content area is numbers, operations and relations. And you can find this in the CAPS document on page 42. With this game, students will be able to solve mathematical problems such as subtraction and addition. So let's move on to the explanation and demonstration of this game. The name of the game that I created and designed is called Bingo with Beans. So let's start with the game rules. Here we have our game rules. So we will start with the game materials. The first thing that we need is a bingo board. So this is what the bingo board looks like. So you can see the bingo board clearly. The next thing that we need is beans. So we go a bunch of beans. The next thing is three blue triangles. So here are the three blue triangles. And the next thing we need is three orange rectangles. And here are the orange rectangles. The next thing that we need is addition cards. And then we have subtraction cards. Now we will go over the rules of how to play. So each player gets a bingo board, which is one of these. So each player is going to get a bingo board. Next is separate the addition and subtraction cards into two piles. Okay, we have done that. Leave the shapes in the middle of the table. So we have left our shapes aside. Beginning of a player's turn. Pick a card from either the addition pile or subtraction pile. So a player has to either choose that pile or that pile. We are going to take one from here. Okay, this is 5 plus 3. Solve the sum on the card. If the answer can be spotted on your bingo board, you may place a bean on it. So let's go ahead. The card that I picked is 5 plus 3, so it equals to 8. So let's see if we can find a number 8. Okay, there we go. In, and I place it on 8. On selected number squares on the bingo board, you will see either a blue triangle or an orange rectangle. So let's see. Okay, so you can see on some of them they have rectangles and some triangles. If your bean is placed on the square with a triangle, for example, you can collect the triangle from the middle of the table. In my case, I have a rectangle. So I can go and collect a rectangle and keep it in my bank. First player to collect all three triangles or all three rectangles win the game. So let's go ahead and finish up the game and see if I win. Okay, so now it's player two's turn and let's pretend that player two has their own bingo board and their numbers are different. So player two will go ahead and pick a card and this is 10 minus 7 equals to 3. So let's say that they had a number 3 on their board and it was a rectangle. So they put the bean on it and then they steal one rectangle. So this will be player twos, okay? It's back to my turn and this is my board. So I pick a card from the minus pile. 12 minus 3. 12 minus 3 is 
9 but i am unlucky because there's no shape in the 9 however we we'll still take a bean and put it on there so it's player 2's turn again let them take from the addition 5 plus 6 is 11 5 plus 6 is 11 so player 2 will take the bean and put it on the 11 and they get a rectangle so there's a rectangle and they put it in their bank my turn again so i'm gonna take this six minus four equals to two two so i have a triangle so i'm gonna take my bean and put it on the triangle and i get to collect a triangle players two's turn again and we have 8 minus 4 is 4. So they'll look on their board and they see a 4. But there's no shape on it. But they will still take a bean and put it on there. Now it's my turn again. So I will take from the addition pile. 8 plus 5. 8 plus 5 is 13. So I'm put my bean on number 13. And I go ahead and collect a triangle so i have two triangles i need one more to win so i say seven plus three seven plus three is ten so there's no shape on it so i take the bean and i put it on here it's player two's turn and two plus one is three okay let's see three has a rectangle on so they can take the bean and put it on three that means they steal the last rectangle and player two wins the game because they have collected three rectangles and that was my mathematics game bye